Alright, let's get started. Isn't it great waking up in the morning? Knowing that your team pull out a big time W? That's the greatest feeling in the world, isn't it? That's what happened last night. Still has beat the Ravens 16-13 in dramatic fashion. Thanks to Kenny Pickett. Mr. Big Time Kenny. Or whatever you want to call him. We got to come up with a name for him now. Because, boy, if he keeps coming in, winning like this, yeah, you're going to have to earn some kind of nickname. But let's look at the stats real quick. Kenny Pickett, 15 completions out of 27. 168 yards, one TD. TD came at the last minute once again. He pulled off against the Raiders, and then he pulled off again, once again, at Baltimore. Hostile environment. Like, that is impressive. I mean, if you're not a big believer in Kenny Pickett now, I don't know what else to say. But moving on, Najee Harris, 22, rushing for 111 yards. And then you had Jalen Warren, 12 rushes for 76. If I'm Harris and Warren, I'm buying the offensive line a goddamn dinner immediately. That's right. Take them off on Monday to wherever they want to eat, give them whatever they want. Because these guys, this is what we've been waiting for. Like, we waiting, we were waiting for the offensive line to jail. And, dude, this is this is the performance that we always wanted from them. Good, hard-nosed, smash-mouth football. In, running the ball down your throat. That's what we wanted. Boy, I wish I could say the same thing for our passing game. Man, that... I hate I, I hate Cam Canada so much. God, I can't stand. Just look at him. Look at him. Like, dude. It's going to come to a point where you're going to have to throw the ball more. If you're going into the playoffs, I'm not saying that they're going in, but if you're going into the playoffs, you're going to have to have a balanced attack. Okay? That's not going to win games in the playoffs to be one-dimensional. No way, no how. Tell me how a, a team, a Super Bowl team that had a one-dimensional uh, offense that just that was just good at running the ball or just good at passing the ball. No, you're going to have a balanced attack if you're going to the playoffs. But anyway, Pat Fryermuth three catches for 36, Johnson two catches for 35, Sims great catch at the end, three catches for 34. I thought George Pickle was going to lose his mind on the catching two catches. Two catches for 29. The, the catch that he made was sensational. It just proves that, man, this guy, this guy's a stud. Hands down. Jana Warren, three for 22. And Harris, two for 12. That one TD at the end. Overall, office did pretty decent in the first half. I mean, well, just running the ball. That was great, but made silly penalties in that first drive with the uh, false start. And we had the momentum going in in the first drive, and then all of a sudden, like, one penalty can just off-rail, you know, your, your momentum. I like to see them throw the ball a little bit more going in, but let's move on to the defense. I thought they played pretty solid, uh, minus the uh, that bonehead uh, play that uh, Ken Hayward pulled off on the first half, where he decided that he wanted to go sit, sit on the offensive player, and getting that a penalty on it, which infuriated me just infuriated me until you kind of look at the the uh, the replay on it like he was getting pushed in the back 
I guess he was just trying to to avoid trying to get a pill in the arm, but they called it on him anyway. And I saw the big spat that uh, him and and uh, Fish Patcher had, and I guess Cam Haywood was trying to explain like, "Hey, I didn't do anything wrong." <laughs> but let's move on to the stats. Uh, Robert Splane, eight tackles. He had a solid game. Fitzpatrick, four tackles, five assists, one interception that came at the end. Edmonds, glad to have him back, four tackles. TJ Watt, one sack. God, I love his presence. Mark, Mr. Histick Robinson. God, I just I just love the way he plays. Like he should have been playing from the beginning. I think Devin Bush is gone. Mollett, two tackles. Wallace, two tackles. Uh, Umanagi played pretty well. Devin Bush, one tackle. Come on, man. You should have like at least about 12. High Smith, pretty decent. Yeah. Kazi came in after uh, Fitzpatrick had a little scare. But um, overall, I feel like uh, this defense played pretty solid. Like, able to hold the offense, the, the Ravens offense, to just a 13, 13 points. You know, let's, let's be real. They ain't had Lamar Jackson. But other than that, they play pretty well. Let's go look at the remaining schedule. Yes, sir. One more game left. And that game is going to be against the Cleveland Browns. To be announced, we're going to play against that. That, that sleazy bastard, Deshaun Watson, finally. Yeah, I said it. He's a sleazy, greasy ass bastard. But anyway, so for all the Steelers fans that hoping and praying that the Steelers going to the playoff, me, I don't care. All I want them to do is to finish the season strong, beat the Cleveland Browns, and that be it. But Technically speaking, they need Miami to lose to the Jets. And I think they need the Buffalo Bills to beat the New England Patriots. If I'm not not sure on that, but do I want to see them in the playoffs? Hell no. Nah. So, okay. So, let's just say you are in the playoffs. You really want to see them face the Kansas City Chiefs? Remember what happened last year? What about the Buffalo Bills? Mm. Lord have mercy. But that is it for this video. Uh, thank you for checking it out. Please give me a like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I got a video coming out later on today. You are actually seeing a sneak preview to that right now. Yeah. It was a, uh, a frustrating one right here. So... Other than that, thank you for checking out. Like and subscribe. Let's go Steelers. See you next time.